This tutorial is about the installation and general setup of Stereo Trader. We start at the point where the installation file has already been downloaded. You can get this either from the homepage of your broker or from www.stereotrader.net. After the download, the file is usually located in the downloads folder. The file is called stim.exe and is open normally by double clicking on it. The Stereo Trader installation manager will open. On the first page you select the language and click on continue. On the next page you will find the license agreement. This must be accepted of course, so that the Stereo Trader can be installed. On this page you select your base platform, because Stereo Trader is an interface. Both for the MetaTrader 4, as well as the MetaTrader 5. If usually the MetaTrader 5 is used, then you select here MetaTrader 5 and on the bottom page of the installation manager the product. Usually this is Stereo Trader Classic so either MT4 Classic or MT5 Classic, unless you have purchased a different version. The products down here are all add-ons for Stereo Trader and can be disregarded at this point. The installation target is now selected accordingly. If the meter trader is installed multiple times, several entries appear here. How to find out the right entry will be explained at the end of this video. A click on continue already starts the installation and you only have to click on finish. In the next step, the meta trader is started again and then the meta trader opens as usual. The stereo trader is only visible when a new chart is opened. It would be important to check a few settings before starting. On the one hand, you will find here above the corresponding button with algo trading. This must be activated. Then in the tools menu via options, it would be important to make sure that several things are allowed. Allow algorithmic trading. This is already done by clicking on the button algo trading. It would also be important that these items are turned off underneath. So if the account is changed or something similar, the stereo trader also continues to work. Also very important is this button allow import of DLLS. Then in the tools menu via options, it would be important to make sure that several things are allowed. Allow algorithmic trading. This is already done by clicking on the button algo trading. It would also be important that these items are turned off underneath. So if the account is changed or the like, that the stereo trader then also continues to work. Also very important is this point allow import of DLLS. Also what's now written behind it is of course correct, but the stereo trader needs accordingly the permission to be able to access so-called DLLS. Also very important is this point allow import of DLLS. Also what now stands behind it is of course correct, but the stereo trader needs accordingly the permission to access so-called DLLS. Therefore these two points are important. All the rest can be ignored for now. Stereo trader can be found here in the navigator section, but we don't need to open it like that. The stereo trader opens by itself as soon as a new chart window is created. As you can see in this case, as soon as the chart window opens, the stereo trader opens as well. Usually nothing needs to be set. But if you have purchased stereo trader, for example, via the homepage www.stereotrader.net and not via the broker, you still have to enter the license key in the menu. The menu of Stereo Trader can be reached by clicking on this small symbol next to the clock and here at Stereo Trader Setup. The license code has to be entered in this field. The license code is of course given after the purchase, if as said the Stereo Trader was purchased and not obtained through the broker. This license code is to be entered here accordingly. In general, you can of course also select the language here and, for example, as in this case then change to German. In some cases it can happen that the clock is displayed in red. This means that the time could not be synchronized with the broker server. If this is the case, you should simply go to the menu above Stereo Trader settings in the instrument section and try to calibrate the time. To do this, simply click on the calibrate button. If the time is already white, the problem is already solved. Otherwise you can change the settings here explicitly for the server of the broker. This completes the installation of Stereo Trader. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, I would also like to explain how to find the right MetaTrader for the installation, if you have installed several MetaTrader. To do this, click in the File menu on Open File folder and this will take you directly to the installation of the particular MetaTrader. In this area up here you have to click on Copy and then you can for example enter this path in the Installation Manager. Or you keep in mind the description that is written here, and this is then also to search and enter accordingly in the Stereotrader Installation Manager.